All right, let's talk about Christmas. Just two serious it. dudes, you know, yeah. talking about serious topics. Pay so no we're, attention we're to ready the to go uh, here. outfit. No, I mean, pay all the attention to the outfit. Uh, all right, so it's Christmas time. Uh, talk to me about the uh, the coolest Christmas gift that you've ever given. Man, uh, we've had the opportunity to give a lot of cool Christmas gifts. The one that actually worked out the best, though, is we, we would... Me and when Derek was younger, and then even my boys, we'd go to like a, you know, a place with an arcade or like a, even like a Dave and Buster's type place, and there'd be the basketball battle, like basketball two on, you know, two guys going against each other. And so I actually found a company, and I bought two of the big units, and I brought them to our our barn, and I dropped them there for Christmas, and we played basketball for like ten hours on Christmas Day. Athletes was, get to have so it was much more so fun. fun. It was uh, so fun. Yeah. God, that's cool. <laughs> That's super cool. Okay, so what about you? What's the what's the best Christmas gift you ever received? All right, I'm going in the way back machine. And, you know, as we were thinking about these questions, I really had to rack my brain like the happiest that I've ever been yes. getting a gift. Uh, I was a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles guy. Oh, my goodness. We're and best friends now. We're yeah. just, we just became best friends. When I was like eight, I got a uh, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing that shot out little uh, pizza discs. Yes, the little discs. Yes. And I I mean, I think if I, it was 1993. We lived in a two-story house. And I'll bet you that I spent 400 hours that year just sitting on sitting on my balcony shooting discs. But off they the shot story. incredibly fast. Dude, it was... Like, now that would be completely outlawed. You couldn't even have that toy. So, I like, have I gotten awesome gifts from my wife over the years? Yes. Have, has anything ever made me happier than that gift? No, I'm absolutely not. Super jealous of that gift. All right, so uh, I mean, one of the cool things, or maybe not so cool things, when you're living it about being a professional athlete is you're all over the place. So, mm-hmm. Christmas in Houston, okay. Christmas in New York City, Christmas in Bakersfield. Which one you got? New York's got it. New York right. is uh, it, it just wins because it was always snowing or cold, yep. and it felt like winter time. And uh, there's just so much, so much cool stuff to do from the Rockefeller tree to you know, everything going on around that, around the city at that time is, is super cool. My, my kids were actually, uh, my wife was homeschooling them, um, at the time when we were out in New York Mm -hmm. and I, during Christmas principal dad, we took like 10, uh, trips over to the city. So it was, it was super cool. A lot of fun. Uh, any special car family Christmas traditions? Um, what do we do? We usually, we usually have one of the, one of the younger children that is just barely learning to read read the Christmas story in That's Luke. Awesome. And it's really cool because they're kind of struggling to get through the words, and but the meaning is not lost in them. And I think that's what we try to do every year, just right before we open our presents to know that, yes, this is super cool that we get to give gifts to each other, but let's let's go back to the root of why this holiday actually exists. So that's, that's, that's awesome, a lot of fun. Man. Well, Merry Christmas and uh, Merry thanks Christmas for being a good you, sport with uh, with I our I don't even have cats. Cat. Well, that's what's so funny about you, this. You get to keep that, so <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. There's your Christmas. Best gift. Christmas gift I've ever received. Awesome, dude. <laughs>